One look at Francis Bourgeois' social media accounts, and you can see he likes trains. Please, please, honk! Yes! Actually, he's loved them all his life. This platform here was where, from age zero to age six, I absorbed the uh, surrounding sounds and sights and formed my passion, basically, for the railway. A passion that still hasn't reached the end of the line. Oh, brilliant! There goes one now. Yeah. Does that get you excited when you see that? If I closed my eyes, I could listen to it and I could tell you what it is. Are you serious? Yeah. But it's kind of the same as, you know, a, a trained musician. If you say, oh, what's this sound? <whistles> oh, oh, it's a flute. Or oh, what's this sound? <laughs> oh, it's a sax. <laughs> Obsession with trains is quintessentially British. Britain was the first country to produce a train. Many Brits grew up with a cartoon called Thomas the Tank Engine and children's movies like The Railway Children. It was like a great dragon tearing by. 23-year-old Francis Bourgeois is known in the UK as a train spotter. He even uses a head-mounted camera to record his emotions, especially to trains that signal him as they pass. For me, it's about the, the feeling that it gives me. I'm looking for a fix. I'm looking for that exhilaration. He's even been train spotting with Joe Jonas. Oh, what? Oh, my God! Whoa! <laughs> oh, my God! And met William and Kate. I was sitting down and I went, hi. And then Kate thought I went, hi. Eyes and like go shake her hand. I broke so many protocols. And as we filmed, his fans wanted their own pictures. <laughs> the thing is, train spotting was not cool in Britain, not even close. Not until Francis changed that conception. There was a kid that came up to me and he said, um, Thank you so much because I'm no longer bullied at school anymore. And he looked at me and he went, <sighs> And I, and I looked at him and I started crying and I gave him a hug. And I looked around and other people on the train were crying. You know, in a way I've kind of helped my younger self, you know. Together, we went train spotting. Oh look, what's that? That's a class 08 shunter with a 92. That's really nice. Train spotting actually takes a lot of commitment. I've done sort of 14, 16 hours before. For a day? Yeah. Wow because you often have to wait for the train you want to see. And wait. And wait. But finally, we were ready for a unique experience, wearing Francis's trademark 360 head cameras. Am I allowed to say I feel a little bit silly? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Turns out train spotting has some pretty strict rules. Only wave with one hand and not too much. Just like a hello, like that. And that it's a roller coaster of emotion. All right, here it comes. Oh, it's properly going for it. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go. For Francis, who's even written a book, having his passion accepted is the greatest high of all. You're part of letting people know yeah. that it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> letting people know that it's OK to be different. Ideally, everyone should be accepting of one another, especially in schools. I'd, I'd like there to be a change in awareness that people who are different should be accepted and even celebrated. Oh, and that how about, is spectacular. Isn't that so great? And you know, how about this for the way that France is changing uh, the world, actually? You know, his real name is Luke. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to use his real name initially because he didn't want employers and things to know about his hobby. Now, of course, the whole world knows That's... about his hobby, and, and they love him for it. Well, what's spectacular, is, and the thing I've always loved about the UK and Britain, you know, is the, the, your, your train system, you know, yeah. that you have, and throughout all of Europe. Trains yeah. are such an integral part of, of life there. And, yeah. and to be able to do that, yeah. bring it to a whole new generation, is fantastic. And we just want to let you know, you saw Kate and William mm -hmm. uh, there in that piece. Right. We have a new episode of my streaming show, The Royal Rundown. It's all about royal fashion. And let me tell you, <laughs> I learned a lot. I would. I didn't know that much 
much about Royal wow. Fashion. And you can stream it at 10 a.m. Eastern on Today All Day, on the Today All Day channel on Peacock or on your smart TV. Well, you're a, you're a fashionable guy, so you were Thank the you. person to do I'll that. I'll do my best for a little sartorial, some, I don't know what. <laughs> Savile Row. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. <laughs> well, that's right. I shop in Savile Row. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.